everything goes right, um, and that stuff goes up in the air, and it actually ignites, we could set this whole hillside on fire. I'm either expecting to see a much bigger mushroom cloud of fire, or because it's heavier, we're gonna see bloop, and it's gonna catch on fire, and then we're gonna have to stand there and watch it burn out. <laughs> Hopefully, choice A. Grant slowly builds the air pressure to 120. Good to go. Then Tori sets the spark. The mass of the creamer in relation to the volume of air is crucial. This could either be a blast or a burn. All right, fire this puppy up. All right, here we go. Non dairy creamer cannon in three, two, one. Did you get that on high speed? Yeah, we did remember to push the on button on the off chance that this might be one of the biggest fireballs ever. This was frightening. I mean, seriously, there was a moment where I'm like, oh, crap, this was a bad, bad idea. All I heard in my head was run, and I started up the hill as fast as I could go, and I'm still on a little bit of adrenaline buzz right now. <laughs> Dude, you gotta feel this. It's like the top of a creme brulee. Oh my god. I think you need a new camera. Should we take that off? Hmm. Is it still rolling? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. whoa! Oh, it's it saved. saved it! Hey! Hey! hey. You don't hey. need a new lens! This viral video is twice confirmed. The flame the governor must have seen from Sacramento. But it's not a recommended science project. We should destroy this because it's too dangerous to have in our shop. This technology should not be shared with anyone. And just in case you missed the message. I hope I don't need to tell you this, but don't try this at home. We still have like 500 pounds of this stuff. Should we try it again? Maybe after I get some new underwear. <laughs>